two people I played with the confusion. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Just like you explained to me what your opinion of the truth was. Now the brother explained to me what his opinion of the truth was. But we gotta bring the Bible in as a what? Mediator to solve all the nonsense. Yes, all yes. the doctrine, the false philosophies that we've learned here in the miracle system. Right. God said trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean what? And lean not. Lean what? Lean not. Lean not, sister, to your own what? Understanding. Your own what? To your own understanding. To your own opinion. so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, his holy people, Luke 1, 68. Right Luke chapter 1, verse 68. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, how you doing? Watch this, I'm gonna show, you believe me? Uh, go check this out. Wait, sir. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. The Bible said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Hold on, what happened to the Asian? What about the Chinaman? What about the L? Hey, sister, you believe in the Bible? You said what? You said it's a book like other books. All right, watch this. Move 168. Watch this. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Move 168. Follow along, brother. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Me and you, we make up the biblical 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, right. You have. You said no? So what do you think? What do you think about that? Uh, I think we was already here. You said you put here. here in America? Yeah. You're exactly right. I'll say 34, 16, I'm going to show us a little people back to Luke 1. I'm going to show you, you said we were, you're right, we were here. We, us, the so-called natives and Hispanics on this side of the world, <laughs> we came to this side a long time ago. Not through the burn straight like the white man tells us. Right. We was on this side of the world a long time ago. Watch this. Because you said that the Bible is just like any other book. But guess what, sister? It's not just like any other book. Damn, this is the top-selling book on the earth. You that's think that's not coincidence? No! No, watch this. Isaiah 34, 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 16. So what do you Because a lot of times, all people say things like, oh, that's the white man's book. Oh, that's just a book. Oh, the man wrote that book. But guess what? We have been taught the correct way to serve our God. That's right. We, have been, we haven't been taught the truth of the scriptures. Watch this. Isaiah 34, 16. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The Bible said, brother, seek what? Seek ye out of the book and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Can you ask yourself, have you ever really sat down and opened up the scriptures and delved into what it was talking about? I read the scriptures once back. Yes. Uh, when I identified it. Yes. You said you read it from front to back when you identified as Christian. Okay, finish this. Isaiah 34. No one of these shall fail. None shall, none shall want her mate. Uh -huh. For her mouth it had commanded. Uh -huh. And his spirit it had gathered them. It said, for God's mouth hath commanded and his spirit had gathered the words of the Bible. This is not just any other book. The scripture says, none shall want her mate. No meaning you can compare the Bible to no other book. The Bible prophesied about how me and you got to this side of the world. How our ancestors got to this side of the world. That's not just like any other book. Bring it out, right? You can't there's, just, oh, huh? There's also, there's also uh, books yes. that have been sure. left out that would have been a part of the original script. You talk, you said what? There's books? I said there's books that are left out that were a part of the original text. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Watch this. Hey, hey brother, you following along? Yes, sir. What's your name? Brother Clark. Brother Clark, yes, sir. You said what? Brother Clark. Brother Clark, you got your freedom zone. You, all praise. Hey. Sister, what's your name again? AJ. AJ, I'm Zakat. My name is Zakat. Watch this. I'm going to show you out the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 chapter. How we know that without the shadow of the doubt, we are the people of the book. And this book right here is our book. Christianity has nothing to do with the scriptures. God gave us law, statutes, and commandments. Not Baptist, not Pentecostal, not birthdays, Christmas, Easter. Not um uh zodiac signs, not in uh um, wizardry, none of those things. God gave us commandments. Watch this Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you said you read the Bible from front to back, right? Right, sister? So in the scriptures, who was Moses' people? 
Um, yeah, who are, who are the people that Moses? But well, Hebrews, the Israelites, right? So Moses, at this point in the in Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter, Moses is talking to the Israelites. Right. 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 The Israelites right. are these people on this song. Right. The so-called Negroes of today, right. the so-called right. Hispanics of today, and the so-called Native. We make up the biblical twelve tribes of Israel. Right. And I'm showing you out the scriptures how we know that me and you are the people of the book. Right. The people in the land right now, those white people. They are not. They are not the real people. That's right. We are the real too. We up. are the real Hebrews, like That's I said. What's right. this? Yes. To observe. Oh, talk, talk, talk. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse fifteen. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not work it unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Wait. Now, who is Moses talking to, sister? I just told you. The Israelites, us, these people on the side, a long time ago. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim. Those were our biblical names. Read it again, verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. in his statutes, which I command thee this day, that, what? that all these curses, all these what? curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses said, if we, he was prophesying, he said, y'all Israelites, if y'all don't keep God's commandments, hey, curses yeah. will come upon you in, in the future. Remember, this time we were entering into our promised land. But Moses said, hey, Israelites, you people of the Bible, if you don't listen to what God gave you, the commandments, curses would come upon you. Bring it out, curses would come upon the so-called blacks. Curses would come upon the Hispanics. Curses would come upon the so-called lady. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So, watch me, verse 16. Curse shall you be in the city. So he said the first curse, how we would know that you are cursed? He said, curse shall we be in the city. Read it again. Curse shall you be in the city. You from this side of town? Is this the black side of town? It is. So in the city, in the majority of Indianapolis, when you want to look for the Negro, the colored people, which part of town do we go to? Do we go to the nice parts? Where do we go? East. Far east. And what are the conditions of, of, of the cities, of the neighborhoods? They're what? Poverty. Poverty. Look, look this guy's yeah. right You got people in other, you got family in other states? And right, so when you look for black people in other states or Hispanics in other states, what part of the town are we living in? Are the good parts or the poverty? Poverty. Poverty. The slums, ghettos, crackheads all up and down the street. Prostitution, drugs, murder, rape. Single parent households, domestic violence, all those things plague our community. Why? Because we stop keeping God's commandments. Now we think it's okay for to sleep with woman to woman to woman. Now it's no thing like God said marriage is honorable and all. Bring it up. Now we have no marriage in our communities. Right. Now we're playing with STDs with chlamydia. Now we're birds. Now we're the, now we're the young men up today have sex. It's, the birds when they or that the woman don't hurt her vaginal system is it's all for pH balance and all. Bring it out, huh? You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because we don't apply things like marriage and um sanctity of uh picking and take one another leg. Watch it, watch it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So it said, Cursed shall we be in the city, and cursed shall we be in the field. In the field. Now, this is just some brief history right here. We know what happened to the so-called Negroes on this side of the world, even the Hispanics in Central and South America. It said, curse shall they shall thou be in the field. What were, what were we doing in the field? Working, slavery, picking cotton. Bring it out. Bring it out. Even today in our fields, our different job fields, our different career fields, we are we have the worst job. Break it we, went from, we went from sundown, a sun up to sundown. Right. That's right. For how much? 14, 15 dollars an hour. Bring it out. You Bring understand out. what I'm saying? The Bible said the Israelites would be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Verse 48, watch this. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. So, you understand what I'm showing you, sis? No, I understand it. I just have a different interpretation. I'm listening. So, you said you have a different, what, what's, what's your interpretation? So, for me, when it says, follow the commandments of the Lord, the Lord is the law. For me, that's the law. So, if you're not living by universal law, which some of that is, some of the commandments, some of it is beyond some of that. Uh -huh. You're out of balance, therefore you curse yourself. So you help me understand. Help me understand universal law. So that would be basically. Uh, you said what? One of the laws polarity. Polarity. Explain. Nope. Everything kind of falls. So there's nothing that's all good. There's nothing that's all bad. 
Okay. So if you go into something heavy, but it's all good, so you're not, and you're not, and you're not aware of the other part of it, uh -huh. and then the parts will come back to sting you in the butt. Okay. You're not aware of the so if we're not aware of how the universe and all works, the thing we eat out of the alarm, so, whether that be the commandments. Quick question, sister. Quick question. question. So, you do you apply the universal law? Yeah. Okay, so tell me this: How can the universal law heal the black community? Bring it out. Give me some solutions. Bring it out. The first thing is you shouldn't be eating anything that didn't come from nature. That's Bob. That's Bible. Go ahead. That's what I said. It's all got. It's all got ties to it all throughout. If any scripture, any holy book, you can find the so, times and all of it. But that's that's the first thing. If we get our health and stuff together, then have the problems with this here to be able to think straight. Right. If we actually deal with those around us, you put energy in, you get energy back. Quick you second, sis. Quick second, because you're saying a lot, and a lot of our people believe in what you call universal law or um, nature's law. The uh, what you call it? What the uh, the law of power? All those. All these different doctrines and philosophies that we've learned. Because what you explain, what you explain to me, the universal law, that's been taught a long time, correct? The, a lot of yes, that's a, that's not a new thing. A universal law has been applied throughout generations. Bring it so out. what has it done for our community throughout generations? And now look, we're not doing it. That's you're, the whole point. What you've been doing? Of, we're out of but look, you this one. Gosh, I'm healthy. Healthy. I'm, I'm good. So what we got to do, sister? I'm, I'm gonna explain something to you because you're saying a lot. And what we have to do as um, as people, as black, as the Israelites, you know the song I'm saying? We are the people of the world. And we got to come out of things like universal law, things like, um, Christianity. What are, what are some other uh, traditions? Um, uh, uh, the Kemet, Islam, all these different philosophies that our people are caught up in. We have never, you said, like you explained, you said universal law has been here for a long, long time. But we are still in poverty. We Bring can't be simple. Yes, look, we can't. But it's been a we have followed it. No, right. People, the culture Isaiah follow This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. Uh -huh. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, uh -huh. it is because there is no light in them. So what you got to do, sister, what we have to do is realign ourselves with the scriptures. Because understand this, the Bible is the true universal law. Yes, the Bible yes. can fix all of our solutions in our community. Yes, the Bible right. says, thou shalt not kill. Bring if out. we would apply thou shalt not kill, boom. Um, murder in our communities is solved. Right, right. Love thy neighbors, I love thyself, boom. Um, um, uh, adultery is solved. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Having love for one for another, those are the things that the Bible shows us. So, right. uh, give me um, uh, Leviticus 19, 17. Bring it out. Teach. So you said some things were unclear. You said the universal law. What else you said, sister? I mean, you can start there, but I said, my people have had the Bible with slavery, and okay. they've gone down. You said what? I said, my people have had the Bible with slavery, and they've gone down. So you made a great point. We have not been following universal law. So you said we, we, we've had the Bible since slavery. But guess what? Like I was explaining to you, you've never been taught that you were an Israelite. That hasn't been right talked now. about the ages. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We just, we, we just, under, we're just now coming into the understanding that we are the people of the Bible. That's right. We, we make up the biblical twelve right. tribes of Israel. You understand right. what I'm saying? And things like you, like you're explaining to me, the universal law, the na uh, the nation of Islam, Baptist, Christianity, Roman Catholicism, all those things our people are caught up in. But we have never really sat down and applied the scriptures. So the, the truth is right here in the scriptures. John 8, 32, watch this. Bring it out. John chapter 8, verse 32. What are you? So, uh, the, 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 this is the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. It says, the Bible said, we, us, we shall know the truth. God put us above every other people on the face of the earth. We are the holy people of the God. And the God said, we shall what? And ye shall know the truth. Uh -huh. And the truth shall make you free. What's the truth? Yes. I don't want to put this. We are divine in our own being, our own instincts. We don't we listen to self and stay in line with things that we do. So, you said, say that again, sister? I said that we are divine by design in our own being. And if we listen to ourselves and call it natural law, we don't. So, you know, the thing about what you say is it's an issue because think about it. So, you. What the truth is, you just explain to me what the truth is. That's your opinion, right? So another brother or sister can explain to me to explain to me what they, what their interpretation of the truth is. Right. That's their opinion. And then another sister or brother comes up and tells me, hey, this is the truth. I think this is the truth. What does that do for us as far as unifying our people? 
If you believe the truth is one thing, you think the truth is one thing, this brother thinks the truth is one thing, how does that solve our problem? Bring it on, That's why I said you're true. I'm going to show us this. You're true. Proverbs 3, watch this. I'm talking about the thing not to get all understanding. Proverbs 3. Okay. Yes, sir. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. What the? Yeah, yeah. Ch chapter 3 and verse 5. So watch this, sister, because what we got to fix... It's, it's we gotta fix because we are prideful as a people, but the Bible shows us how to fix our problems. Right, right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. It says, first, we gotta trust in God with all our heart. Can That's you honestly right. say you've done that, sister? But the Lord, it says, the Lord, the Lord simply means yeah. the law. That's the law. 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 Okay, have you trusted in the law of the mm. laws of God with all your heart? Have you done that? The laws of the no, the laws up there with the mini Bible. The, Bring it out. the Bible is filled with many laws. I'm gonna get you. Finish this up right here. And lean not unto the side. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 5. Oh. Trust in your Lord with all thine heart. Uh -huh. And lean not. Lean what? Lean not. Lean not. Bring unto thy own understanding. So, what the Bible does for us, because think about it. Our people are plagued with confusion. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Just like you explained to me what your opinion of the truth was. Now the brother explained to me what his opinion of the truth was. But we got to bring the Bible in as a what? Mediator to solve all the nonsense. Yes, all yes. the doctrine, the false philosophies that we've learned here in America, sister. Right. God said trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean what? And lean not. Lean what? Lean not. Lean not, sister, to your own what? Understanding. Your own what? To your own understanding. To your own opinion. Oh, I think, well, I think, right. that's what's wrong with our, with our communities today. Bring we got up. too many I thinks. Bring that's why we don't up. understand merits. That's why we don't understand loving one another. Bring it up. You understand what I'm saying? Well, who, who, who are we? Who are they just to rely on to intent? If, if, if they're not reading it and learning it themselves. Excellent question. Isaiah You said, who are we supposed to allow? Look, yeah. because you ask it. Because you've been to church? I did. How long have we been going to church as a people? Since slavery, you, I can explain to me, we learned, we learned the doctrine of Christianity That's in slavery. Right. We learned Catholicism in slavery. Right. And the, the scriptures have been taught to us in a flawed way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm showing you that out of the Bible, we can fix our problems. Isaiah 8 to you, you said, how do we know who's, who we should listen to, right? Watch this, Isaiah 8 and This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. And look, at it, look, look, check this out. I'm not, uh, I ain't speaking out my own words. I'm not, um, you know, Google. I'm showing you, we, look, this is, this is not, we are about what we're talking. You know what I'm saying? We're just going, show, going through the scriptures and showing you how we how we know what we're saying is accurate. Watch this, Isaiah 8 20. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. Uh -huh. To the law and to the testimony. So it says, to the law and to the testimony. This is the testimony right here. This is the testimony, meaning this is what God has commanded or testified of that we should do. Read. If they speak not according to this word. If what? If they speak not according to this word. So what you got to start doing to these pastors, to these philosophers, to the people who claim themselves to be wise, is lining them up with the scriptures. If they say they're about the Bible, ask them to show you. The Bible said if they speak not according to this word, read, it is because there is no light in them. It's what? There is no light in them. It says because there is no light in them. The scripture says the laws of God are light for us. That's what is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Nation. Oh, you know